Okay, speaking of COVID, what happened because you had an exposure to COVID? So tell us kind of what that story was. How did you get exposed to COVID? I was exposed to COVID through um, work. I um, work in a billing for a, a surgery center, uh, orthopedic clinic, and um, we were originally sent home and furloughed, and then we were brought back after uh, the surgery centers were able to start operating again. Um, unfortunately, one of my coworkers, uh, who uh, we lunched with um, on a regular basis, uh, was asymptomatic. And the only way that they, the only reason why she found out is because her husband goes through mandatory testing. Um, and then about a week after she found out she was positive is when she started having symptoms. Many people who have COVID, as we, you know, as we kind of hear, many of the people who have COVID are, are asymptomatic or maybe get over it quickly. How's it been for you? I was symptomatic before I even tested positive. Um, around 7, um, around July 22nd, I started having um, symptoms of uh, really bad body aches, headaches, um, gastrointestinal issues. Um, I went into Fairview, Wyoming and had a curbside test. Um, it was negative, and I was back in the ER on um, July 31st, no, on um, August 4th uh, with shortness of breath, and a CT scan revealed that I had fluid in my lungs. So we're talking July, and you are you still feeling symptoms? Are you still feeling the effects of COVID? Without a doubt. Um, I am 39 years old and I can barely make it up the 10 stairs in my home uh, without feeling like my heart is going to jump out of my chest. Um, just standing, um, my, uh, I become tachycardic. Um, my memory has uh, significantly deteriorated. Um, it has been uh, very hard for me to be um, a mom to my children, to be any help around the house. I'm so thankful for my husband who has really picked up and done a lot with the kids. And have you been able to go back to work? Not able to go back to work. Um, I am out of bed maybe four hours a day. Um, I have significant pain in my arms. Um, I'm taking pain meds now like probably twice a day where before you'd be lucky if I took it maybe four times a year. There might be people watching this who don't know anybody who's had COVID. And so in many ways, you might be putting kind of a, a face to this. What would you want people to know about COVID uh, for people who, who don't have a personal experience with it? The biggest thing that I can say is that just because you don't see it, just because you haven't felt it, doesn't mean it's not real. Um, there are, of course, people that get it have very mild symptoms and go on to be just fine. There are people like me who have very mild symptoms. I never needed oxygen. I was never hospitalized. But yet here I am almost 90 days later and still significantly impacted um, by the effects of it. So kind of the last thoughts here. Any words of, of hope or any moments where maybe you've seen kind of God at work during this for you? Absolutely. So um, there has been moments through this that I, I would say frustration is even um, not the right word. Unfortunately, uh, doctors don't really know what to do with uh, a lot of COVID patients because this is a novel virus and nobody knows how it's affecting the body. Um, but there are uh, some light being shed. I finally got an appointment to go down to the Mayo. Um, after a very long, hard fight, um, and just everybody that has come in and has been willing to help um, through all of this with my family. I've seen it firsthand with other families as well, um, and there are literally thousands of what are considered long haulers, um, and they're all receiving the same um, support from friends and family. So I just ask that if it's not affecting you personally, try to get in touch maybe with somebody online so that you can understand how it's affecting lives across the nation.